Hey guys, we're about to give you a crazy walkthrough of this Polycraft 2 feet 300 and we got the one and only right here, Ari from Polycraft. He's gonna tell you everything about it. But before we get to that, what is the one thing that this boat has, has going for? Like what is your 20 second elevator speech? This is the most fun that you can have on the water for the price. Take this out on the water. It is virtually indestructible, virtually unsinkable, and you can have the time in your life on this boat for pennies on the dollar. Now guys, I had it on the water and this thing is a lot of fun. It's super fast. We're gonna do a full on the water demo video too, coming soon. If you haven't seen that video, it's gonna be linked somewhere around here. Also, if you wanna buy one of these things, we're gonna put an affiliate link down below. So you help me, you help the channel, and you help them. Now, Eric is gonna walk us through the, the thing, and I'm gonna be asking him questions for sure. Let's go. Here today we have the Polycraft 300 Tuffy in apple green. This is made of one piece rotor molded polyethylene, which makes it virtually indestructible. There is also a layer of foam along the top of the hull, which makes it virtually unsinkable. One of my favorite things about the Tuffy is the storage compartments. Here in the front, we have a large storage compartment in the bow. You could put any kind of accessories, fishing supplies. You could put your safety accessories, as well as it is watertight so you can make it a cooler. The ice will hold in there for a long time. Yes, you could put ice in there and then you could put your drinks and go out on the water for a few hours and enjoy some cold beverages. Oh, that's beautiful. Back here on the starboard side, we have another small storage compartment. Some people have used this for a battery if you want to hook up any kind of fish finders or a Minn Kota trolling motor. You can wire the devices through the hole and come out of here. Additionally, it is a watertight compartment, just like the other storage compartment on the port side. There are four stainless steel rails on the boat. These can be used to lift the boat onto a davit, and they can also be used as lifting points. These are strong enough that even if there's weight inside the vessel, it comes with two fish rod holders one on the port stern and one on the starboard stern. 15 horsepower engine right here. What is the most that this thing can take? This boat is rated for a 15 horse tiller motor, short shaft, which is what we have over here, a brand new 2021 Yamaha 15 horsepower. And our customers have fitted these with Yamaha, Mercury, Tawatsu, and Suzuki. What about electric? Yes. We also have customers who like the Torquedo or the e-propulsion, they are three kilowatt motor. Make sure you get the 15 inch shaft, take this out on the water, and then it will do about six, seven miles an hour in nice calm water on the lake. Yeah, if you don't want to deal with gas or anything like that, but this thing is very clean and easy. It, it turns like in two seconds. Absolutely. Actually one second. On a 15 horse Yamaha, you could do about 25 to 28 miles an hour, just the way it's fitted right now. Depending on condition, how many people you have on board. Correct. I, I think like me and the captain, I think we hit like 18 miles an hour. Yes. So maybe we could put, a, put it to 20. I didn't really measure it when I was having it myself because um, I don't know, I couldn't do three things at the same time. Can you talk about the whole of the boat, like how big it is? Yes. Also some of this, like, I see drain plugs right there. Correct. Uh, so the boat in. itself is 10 feet long, five feet wide. There are two inner holes that have their own drain plug. So right here on the port side, it has its own drain plug as well as on the starboard side for the actual hole itself. Right here, below where the motor is, there's another drain plug. This is for anything that's inside the actual boat. So these are for inside the boat and that one is the for, hole? This is for actually inside the boat and these two are for the inner holes. Right, so that's what I was trying to say. These two are for water that leaks inside the boat itself. Water would not leak inside the boat. The main reason why we put this here mm -hmm. is for customers who wish to wire electrical devices similar to Minn Kota or fish finder and they want to use this as a way to fish any oh. kind of wires. Okay, so all right. So basically the only water that you have to worry about is water splashing over and that water is gonna come out through that hole over there. Yes, sir, right over here. That has its own drain plug and you can just close it right up, right over there. Right, right there. Now, I see a metal plate here. Does it come with that metal plate? Yes, like it does. This is the aluminum transom plate that's standard. This reinforces the transom. It's also what allows 
you to put a heavier motor on this. Well, a lot of people fish a lot of shallow water, and sometimes they like to put some sort of like jack play or something that lift the motor up. Is that something you could do on this boat? We haven't tried to put on any adjustable jack plates. I'm sure it's feasible. However, this boat can actually go in about six inches of water. So if you want to go in shallow water, I would recommend you trim up your motor or at this point, tilt it all the way up and use a Minn Kota bow mount trolling motor for shallow water. The Polycraft 300 Tuffy is three meters. It is 10 feet long by five feet wide. It carries up to three people and is rated for 639 pounds. In terms of weight of the actual hull, it only weighs 238 pounds. So one person can drag it up to a dock or onto the shore, or two people can lift this up and put it on the back of a truck or onto a trailer. When people are looking to get this boat, they also have to look getting into a trailer. What if they you want? need a trailer to take it to your local launch ramp, Yes, we also sell trailers through polycraft.com and we recommend that your bunks are exactly 24 inches apart. You have bigger boats too. Do you sell those or? Yes, we do sell those. The next level up from this is a Polycraft 410 Challenger that is about 13 and a half feet. And also comes with the option for a remote setup so you can have a steering wheel and that is rated up to 50 horsepower. You watching this video right now, you want to buy this boat, where do they go? polycraft.com slash aliex or check out the link below all right so i see you put in here like a 55 pound trolling motor is that like the ideal size or should you can you put a bigger one this is a 12 volt trolling motor with a 48 inch shaft and it is a 55 pound this is ideal for this size boat and weight i see that you have the gas tank right there on the back is there any ways to put like an internal tank on this or that's not so we've had some customers who put the tank in the bow storage compartment and then ran the fuel line back to the motor we now have a yamaha three gallon tank which fits nicely vertically right in the compartments in between and then in the front over here we have the anchor well if you do want to run a Minn Kota trolling motor setup, we recommend putting a quick disconnect right along the anchor well at this point right here. And we can run the wire all the way through the hole to a battery in port storage compartment. I think this motor is probably going to push this watercraft at 3 miles an hour or so, but this is more for fishing than anything else. So Correct. It's more for fishing or using in shallow water. Wow. And for those that want to cast from the front, this thing is super, super stable. I think it's like a 100% walkable deck. Like yes. I walk everywhere. I think you can even walk on the gongs. Absolutely. We have tried it out where we put three big guys right here on the starboard side, tried to tip it over, and we were not able to do so. Another thing that um, people always ask is about warranty, customer service. These boats are made in Australia. They're being shipped here. If something happens, what sort of customer service, what sort of warranty do, do you offer? Correct, so the boats are made in Australia and they are shipped to the US. We do offer a five year warranty on the whole. We have a good dealer network throughout the US. We also have a customer service link at polycraft.com. Any issues that you have with your boat, we request that you send us an email and we'll be glad to help you out. One of the amazing benefits of this vessel is that you have the option of adding Rail Blaza accessories Right here in the front, we have what's known as the cleat port. This will act as a cleat. And then right above it, we have navigation lights. Here is your port and starboard lights. They run on AA batteries. And they just snap right in and lock right no there. No cabling, nothing. Just Correct. make sure you that light, that the batteries are fresh and boom. And good. good to go. Right here in the front, we had added a GoPro mount so you could also film your adventures. The mount can also come off and you could also put another item in here like a cup holder or oh, any yeah, other item holder. oh you can put a flag in there if you absolutely yeah. moving back a little bit we put a fish finder right here again Rail Blaza makes the fish finder mount They'll mount there and you could definitely wire it out that power correct so you can wire that. this to come down into the hole out to a battery and you can also connect it to a transducer which you can mount to the transom and also this is huge this handles because you could put more rail blaza accessories correct right. so rail blaza makes rail mounts that can mount onto these rails similar to what we have over here and same thing you could take this out put it back in really easily and now we just added a rod holder 
But if you don't want to drill at all, you got to flush mount the rod holder right there. Absolutely. Now we also just came out with a new bimini top that connects directly to the rail blaza rail mounts. Right here we have our rail blaza stern light. So if you do want to go out at night, you could just pop this in. What I like about this is it unscrews completely and this will fit in your storage compartments. I love that when I have one of those. And you can see the yeah. something about not having to drill, you got these handles. You don't have to drill at all. You could definitely put fish uh, finders over there like that in this rail or put rod holders. You don't have to drill into this if you don't want to. Now, if you put a trolling motor, you definitely have to drill. But this is plastic. This is, I mean, you could fix this easily, right? Correct. Let's say you drill the run hole or something. How will you cover that? So this will come with a welding rod. It's very simple. You would use it, the welding rod and we fill up the hole with the welding rod, heat it up, let it cool down. We then sand it down to where it's flat and then we use a heat gun to bring the shine back on the boat. Oh, that's nice. So you could repair this thing easily. Absolutely. That's, that's a plus. One of my favorite rail blast accessories is the table. This is great for... You love food too much, bro. Well, yes, you can use it as a picnic table as well, as some have, but it's absolutely... Two cups of wine there and some sure. nice bread. Yes, you can put a cup of wine here. You can have your phone or you can put your VHF radio, but this is a good fish cleaning table so you can get out, work on your fish, and get going. That's right, and you can put one on each side. You can actually put two on the port side and another one on the starboard side. If you don't want to use the rails, you can also screw in the star ports to the, to the actual hole. Cleaning table, barbecue over there. Uh, well, yes, that would be fun to put a magma grill. <laughs> so you can actually just go out and have one vessel. You can catch your fish, clean it, and grill it all in one boat. Bro, you're giving me ideas right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's, let's do it for real. Let's do it for real. Okay, guys, we're going to do it for real. You need to subscribe and like this video so we could actually do this. Yes. We're going to cook. We're going to go fishing. We're going to catch a fish. I'm going to catch a fish because I don't think you will catch a fish. And we're going to cook it right here on this boat. Yes. Not this one, because this one already has a happy new owners. But we're going to do it. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Let's do it. Now, this is a boat. It has to be registered. And you guys got all the paperwork ready, right? You got the certificate of origin, the invoice, everything. Absolutely. All right, guys. So this video was a really good one. But there is more. There's going to be another video. The link. Actually, it's going to be showing up right here. Like, do you see it? <laughs> right there. Go, go check it out.